Yeah, I was fortunate that I had some really good trainers and managers mm -hmm. who emphasize closing those claims same day. And oh, yeah. I would watch guys that wouldn't close the same day. And here we are in the little conference room. And before the guy was even coming into the conference room, the managers and trainers are all, you know, talking about this individual. Who, why can't right. they get their claims closed? What are they doing? What are they working on? And so that forced me, <laughs> that stress to be, I don't want to be that. Yeah. Guy, right. I always yep. want to make sure I get it done. And especially, you know, we talk about the recon stuff, things that you can do before. If I ever have that claim that I didn't do that for, and then I jump on my computer after I do the inspection and I'm like, oh man, I got to get all this stuff done now too. There's that other stress that adds to it. So yeah. it's setting myself up to have an easy, peaceful day, get it done. And like you said, feel productive because you are closing those. If I'm not closing those, I don't feel productive and I don't get as good as sleep that night and everything. Uh, yeah, for yeah. sure. That's how you you kind of set your speed limit as far as like how many you scope in a day, or how I how I did, is that well, how many can I close today, right? Well, I know how long it takes me to do this and this and this, write the estimate, scope the loss, whatever. Um, if I can't get, if I wanted to try and do fifteen, I could ab absolutely scope fifteen in a day, but the chances of me being able to close all fifteen are not as good as if I do try to do eight. Right, like hail claims, like wind and hail, with that are pretty easy um, that you can do that on. Now, you know, I say this; I've been saying this since the beginning of Adjuster TV. You get your, you get your, like your workflow is really dialed, and you've been working for a comp the same company for a couple of years, and you've handled a lot of claims for them. It starts to become it's so like much. There's so much muscle memory there. It's like driving a stick, right? You can drive all the way across the country, a manual transmission, and never remember, like, put your foot on the clutch. Um, you can do, middle of summer, hail, wind and hail claims, especially if they're all 412, you know, ranches with gutters, roof, and they're all brick, like in St. Louis, on, like, north side of St. Louis, there's the gazillions of those houses, right? And you're like, oh, well, I mean, they're, how long am I going to pay this guy, like, $5,500 for his little roof or $7,500? And that's about it, right? Not, they're not huge claims. But, man, you can smash them out. You can do so many yeah. in a day, right? When you, when you really, really get that workflow dialed in um, and you can be hyper productive. Overall, you know, go, looking at it as, as a volume play and just taking, you know, right now you're, you're adding to your volume for the year, right? Even though it seems kind of slow and you're not doing a, a, a ton it's good because you're able to take a little bit of extra time and instead of just rushing through your scopes and everything, you can take your time with them and in the back of your mind, be thinking about, you know, how can I do this a little bit faster? How can I like look at this elevation in a systematic way? Um, starting at, the, you know, we start at the top usually. And can I do that like on every elevation and just like kind of figure out, start working out start working out the workflows and the systems that you can hang your mm -hmm. your productivity on and when it's slower right now you've got a lot of room and space to do that um when the big hailstorm so, hits um then that's when you you mash the gas pedal to the floor <laughs> but you're not yeah. you're not like doing it with like the lug nuts half on and like the hood is up and the doors are all open right you've got every you're starting to get things all batten down and your machine, you know, all the pieces are all together. Whereas, you know, instead of just like, cause you're gonna, you'll wipe people, you, they'll just wipe out when they try to go fast. And the people that, you know, like you said, it's a, it's, it's a little bit of a shaming thing, right? And you got like secondhand shame from <laughs> the, the, uh, the guy like yep. who's not closing claims, but he's going out and scoping all day long. It's, it's what he's doing. He's just scoping. He thinks that that's being productive. He thinks that that's because that's the thing he knows how to do. And that's the easiest part of the whole thing, right? Is scoping the loss. Then he's going to go do that where he, what he really needs to be doing is like just slamming the brakes on that, you know, taking three days or two days and writing up everything that he's already scoped. Um, Cause he's trying to stay up till two o'clock in the morning. And he's not doing it. He's at the hotel. Maybe his girlfriend or his wife is there and they're distracting. Right. Well, let's go out to eat. You know, I've been sitting there. I'm a board at this hotel room all day long. Let's go out to Next thing you know, it's three o'clock in the morning and he's gotten two of the nine that he scoped that day, even slightly close to closed. 
And that's what kills adjusters on these big storm events. Um, mm -hmm. You know, when their first storm is a hurricane, that's the, the ones that all wash out. When you work a hurricane, which this year, I mean, the predictions are that we're going to have a, a, you know, a big year, you're going to get the claims that you get when you first show up. Right. Or maybe when you're, when you're on your way, it's your email will start pinging with all these exact, you know, exact analysis assignment notifications. And then a week into it or two weeks into it or 10 days or whatever, your manager is going to start assigning you, re reassigning claims to you from, from guys that did that. They tried to over, they tried to just go on scoping rampages. Um, That's what so, happened to me. My last one. So oh, really? They gave me. Right off the bat, I had over 50 claims and yeah. some of them are already scheduled and there are conflicting oh, right, right, yeah. schedules. So you were getting um, claims from other, it wasn't you that was getting your claims taken away. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was very intense. The first few weeks, um, that's maybe it was two and a half weeks in and I was starting to question whether I wanted to be an adjuster anymore because the stress <laughs> was so high. Come, and I come. called, yeah, I called one of my trainers and he's like, yeah, it's normal right now. Everybody's getting about 70 claims on average. He's like, don't worry about it. Like, just go through the process, you know, make the phone yep. calls. You know, everybody's in the same boat and you're a high producer. So, you know, you just keep closing those claims and eventually you'll get caught up. And once I got that rhythm going, yep. it felt so good. I had time to go take oh, yeah. a hike, right? Just little things yeah. like that. <laughs> but it was it was a rough it was a rough week for sure. This video is sponsored by the multinational eye firm Crawford and Company. To learn more, get exclusive training from Crawford and get on their roster, visit crawco.com slash cat. Here's what's coming up next, right here on Adjuster TV.